It is primary election night across Nevada. Now some people tell us that they have now been waiting for several hours to vote and some right now still in line at this hour. Good evening everyone. I'm Todd Quinones and I'm Trisha Keen. This was the first ever largely mail in election. Let's get over to 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels live at Clark County Elections Department headquarters near Cheyenne and MLK Boulevard. Joe. Yeah, Todd, Tricia, this building behind me here has really been the hub of all the election day action from today. We got here around 8 o'clock tonight, and the line stretched out the door and around the corner, about 100 people or so. Take a live look tonight. Inside, there are still people in line, about 100 or 150, so still waiting to cast their ballots here four hours after. The polls have closed. Take a closer look inside of this video here. Cesar Melendez captured this video of the line around the same time we got here around 8 o'clock. He told me it took him about three or four hours to stand in line to get a replacement ballot. We heard some people waiting as much as five hours. Election officials tell us it's been busy all day. There were only three locations in Clark County to get a replacement ballot. If you lost one or didn't receive one in the mail, all registered voters were sent ballots through the mail because this was the first time ever the state went to an all mail in ballot election due to concerns over the coronavirus. Election officials tell me the folks they've seen today in person have had a number of issues that have led to longer wait times. Some of them, as I mentioned, lost ballots. Some of them needed to register the same day to vote. Others needed to make updates to their voter information, like their address or switching parties, which takes time to process. Well, it's really frustrating because once you get past this line, it only gets worse when you get in there. You think like you're halfway once you get in. But it was really nice. They gave us water, they gave us pizza, you know, but the wait was really long and it's worth it because we need to vote. Spent a lot of time in the processing rooms today and the majority of people who were coming in were asking for replacement ballots. So um, these sites were primarily set up for those that needed to register same day or make an update to their registration. Of course, we're, repli we're, we're providing replacement ballots, but that was the majority of voters who were showing up. And take a live look tonight. We have some of the uh, folks here, some of the congressional races, and ordinarily we'd be showing you at least initial results, but you could take a look here. There are no election results coming in tonight. Uh, this is not a mistake. This is from the state here. They're saying that there are still ballots being dropped in the mail, and those are going to be tabulated and processed over the next week or so. Official results from this election won't be certified and made uh, official until June 16th. So a much slower election night process than we're typically used to for all of these ballots. Again, Nevada trying to work out the kinks of this all mail-in ballots election here. Back out here live, the Nevada uh, Democratic Party released a statement tonight saying uh, uh, addressing those really long wait times. They are saying that there needs to be more polling locations and more options available for folks leading up to the November general election to avoid any other issues like we saw tonight. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.